Hello. Um, what I'm looking at is um, the uh, video here and in the middle of the video uh, after 31 minutes he describes an insertion sort using pseudocode and what I want to do is try and convert this pseudocode here into Java I'll do it in real time I haven't tried to do it at all yet so we'll see what happens so let's call it insertion.java so I'm going to take a brand new Java program and show you let's a brand new file and see if we can do it. So let's call it class insertion. Right, so what we want to do is we want a method uh, uh, static void uh, let's call it insertion sort like he did insertion sort and it's going to take an array of integers um, as a parameter right now let's see if we can write the code if we can follow the pseudocode that he's written and um, Right, so we know, we'll, we'll assume, let's have another parameter representing the size uh, of the number of uh, things we want to sort. So um, we may want to sort the whole array, in which case it'll be a dot length, otherwise it'll just be n, which is part of it. Um, right, he starts, he, he assumes the things start at 1, but we know in Java that they start at naught, so we need to do 4 int j equals 1 um, j less than n uh, j plus plus so that's that for for j equals 2 to n we've got to we've got to go um, from one because uh, because it w he starts his arrays at one and we know Java they start this might have to be uh, changed slightly but we'll think about that later so we've got a for loop here so let's put the beginning of the for loop and the end of the for loop here so what do we do he says we got a we got a variable called um, key so let's say it's an int key equals a j So we assign key to AJ. This arrow means assign. And what does this say? Um, I becomes J minus 1. So we've got another int. Int I equals J minus 1. Right, so now what do we know? We've got a while loop next. So let's do that. While what? Well, i greater than naught, i greater than naught, and ai greater than key uh, what do we have to do? Yeah, well, let's put the beginning of the while loop there and the end of the while loop there. What do we do? We do we do those two statements there. We do uh, a i plus one becomes a sorry a i plus one becomes a i that corresponds to that one there and then i becomes i minus one i equals i minus one so there we go that's the thing and then after the loop we do a i plus one becomes key A i 
plus 1 equals k. So the reason we know that that's there is because he's put it in a line with this one. It's not indented like that. So, so it's that thing isn't in the body of the loop. So that's my um, that's my um, insertion sort. So um, let's compile it to see if it's right so far. We haven't got a main method yet, so we haven't. So how would we compile that? We'd say Java C insertion dot Java. Uh, I've forgotten the semicolon there. Okay, so let's put that in. So we now recompile it, and that compiles okay. So now let's do our main. public static void main main string args static um, let's um Let's have an array int b equals new um, int ten new sorry a new int ten and now we can do let's do it very um, let's let's write another method that prints out the first n elements of an array. Um, well, perhaps we don't need that. Let's let's just try do something. B zero equals B zero equals one B two equals two equals three. B three equals two, and then if we say insertion sort, we want to call our insertion sort function method on our array B. Uh, on our array B, and we want to sort the first three elements. So we make that three. And now we print out. Can we print out an array? I can't remember. Let's try. System. Dot out. Dot print. Then b. If not, we'll have to write a method to do it. So now let's um, compile that. Equals new int. Sorry, that should got to go in there. There we go. And to run, so it's compiled. So now we can run it. See what happens. No, we can't print the array. So we have to write a method to print the array. So let's write our method to call to print the array. So it's going to have the same head. So let's duplicate this one here because it's going to be a bit like that. So here we do this. We have um, print. Let's call it print. print and let's do for j equals 0 j less than n j plus plus so for now let's just do system dot out dot print a j so we're going around the loop printing the l a j element J time around the loop. So let's try run compiling and running that. Oops, I've forgotten to call here. I need to say uh, print print call our print method that we've just written. And it takes another parameter three. Let's try that. Compile it and run it. 
um, and it's done one naught three. Um, Oh, that's because I put the wrong assignments here. What it should say is I want B1 to be 2. And B so now that the array goes 1, 3, 2. And so now um, when I run it, it's done 1, 2, 3. Excellent. So let's just try, let's, let's make, let's change it. 4, 3, 2. So now it should do two, three, four. Um, um, Java insert. Shouldn't, did I compile that? Four, two, three. That's not right. We'll have to have a look at why. 